Hi everybody, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Mini Tool Partition Wizard. This is something I've been using for a little while now. Uh, they actually came and asked me to do a review on it. And since it's something I've used myself many times, I thought why not? And they also, when you do an update, will give you another uh, thing that will come with it. Shadow Maker, I believe it's called. So that's just another add-on that they'll give you so when you click it okay mini tool partition wizard 12 and it updates of course over time say yes and it'll open itself up which of course the reason it did that is because I've already got it open and so here it is so you'll get a little pop-up message down here all right so best backup software from mini tool mini tool shadow maker uh, your first data protection solution, discover the magic, blah, blah, blah. And of course, if you don't want to see it, you just click do not show this message again. And then it'll go away. So here's the most important part. It's going to go in, it's going to look at what's in your system. It's going to allow you to convert disk, um, migrate an operating system to an SSD. You can copy partitions. Co um, copy a disk partition recovery wizard so if you delete one you need to get it back all right so all these different converting a disk converting a disk from GBT to MBR why you'd need to do that I don't know but I'm sure there are circumstances where you might I use this to convert it from the MBR to the GPT because it would not read my NVMe drive it would not read it at all no matter what I did it just simply wouldn't work so here's a quick look at all the different menus so it can do reload if something goes wrong if it stutters whatever with just hitting the F5 key you can have a legend bar disk map location so you can have it on the top or bottom so that's basically I believe all the stuff up here and you know disk map location again change the font and uh, you can even pick a different language if we wish okay so disk so you can copy it delete all partitions align partitions convert like i said before you can do a surface test to see how the hard drive is working you can do data recovery or even partition recovery and you can even wipe disk using this so this is very similar to using a disk part and doing a clean you can use this to like basically kind of like a secure wipe and of course to get the properties of the drive so when you're looking at partition if you uh, are clicked on a certain thing so let me just see if I can do that first so let's just say let's click on here so now if I click partition all these features become available do I want to wipe out that partition I really do not because it's all my games but I could do I want to modify it, change the serial number, change the type, or do I want to hide it so people don't know it's there? Surface test, I convert it from NTFS to FAT. So if you were using maybe a USB stick, you could go in and do that. Check your file system, change the letter. A lot of these features are available under Windows, disk management, but this just makes it a little bit more convenient, easier for you to find, and maybe even for you to know how to use whereas maybe the other one just doesn't work for you you can format it align i'm not sure what the align is you can delete you can explore what's on there copy data recovery you can split a partition which is very handy you can merge them so if you let me just see here if i go this one and can i click them both at the same time uh, hmm how can i do that don't oh, know there must be a way of doing it I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong but anyway if you're familiar with doing that you can merge probably this one and this one together actually let's go back in here and go merge and see what happens so let's see what it tells me okay so what do you want to expand so if I want to expand this partition size and if there was more blank space I guess I could go in and do that so it tells you a little bit more here you can choose the partition you want to expand to 
and include adjacent partition so if you had blank space. And note that if it's possible to select only NTFS partitions. If you want to merge a FAT1232 or a FAT32 partition, you have to convert it to FAT first and then to NTFS function to convert it to NTFS first. Okay, anyway, you can read through that, do all that. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because it would mess with my system, so just click cancel. And as you move along, okay, so I'm just going to click up dynamic disk. So, again, if you clicked on the right thing, it's going to give you the ability to create a volume, delete a volume, format it, move or resize it, which that is kind of a handy feature there. Let me see if I can do that and show you. So, it should. I'm surprised it doesn't let me. So you can right click from here, which is what I just did. So I want to see if it lets me. Uh, so I've clicked move or resize. Okay. So right from here, it's going to let me choose the allocation space, what size I want it to be, and it'll tell me once I've chosen this, what size it'll be afterward. Okay. Again, don't do this if you don't know how, if you're not familiar with what you're doing. This is more for a bit of the advanced user. Um, you don't want to be messing with this stuff where you could severely impact your system. All right, so again, cancel. This is just to show you what is possible. Again, so if I want to click on here and right click, it gives me all the different so properties, basically usage, okay? How much is used, how much is unused, uh, for partition information, all right? And file system information. And so you can do space analyzer. All right. Partition management. Okay. Is the other part of that. You can benchmark each uh, different disk, whether it be multiple disks, multiple hard drives. You can do a partition recovery. Okay. I'll let you go ahead and read all that. Now, it does say you need to upgrade to the Pro Deluxe or higher uh, additions to do some of this stuff, so keep that in mind. Uh, nope. Uh, exit. Yes, I want to exit. Okay. Data recovery, of course. So, if you want to back up any of this stuff, okay, so you can see how it will let you choose it. I'm just showing you the basics so you can choose how you want to do this yourself later on and of course all these become down here later on so when you're done with them you can just click the X and get rid of it and of course data backup do you want to install mini tool shadow maker free and you click yes and it's going to give you some backup uh, that you can do so you can start backing up your system and of course they say it's free so what the heck so anyway the mini tool shadow maker pro 3.6 it'll give you a 30-day trial after which then you would need to uh, of course go ahead and get it oh that's pretty much it in a nutshell it shows you all the different stuff i'm going to quit the program again mini tool partition wizard just wanted to show that to you show you another little program that's out there that may help you. I have found this particularly handy when I've had an M.2 drive that I could not get it to read on anything else. I was able to go in here, find it that it was in either a raw format or G or MBR and I needed to be NTFS and by going through using this program I was able to get that disk back up running, convert it to an NTFS uh, file format and then I was able to put it in, bring it up under disk management, and format it and set it as a new simple volume and everything just worked great. So that's it. So again, if you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for future notifications of videos as they come up. And think about hitting that join button if you want to help support the channel. Always appreciate it. Um, so this software, I do recommend it. Keep in mind, a lot of this stuff right now gives you the basics. 
but then when you start to do some of the other stuff it's going to say oh you need the pro version so you will wind up having to pay for some of them like not all of them like i've used this quite a while now and i do get to use some of the features and without any problems so just keep that in mind